the night, yeah Make all the demons quiet, yeah We were built to thrive, yeah I think that we've all had enough What keeps you up at night, yeah Make all the demons quiet, yeah We were built to thrive, yeah Hey, you what up everyone welcome back to my channel Swiss Motion and today today I'm gonna show you this build it's a pure spectre reveler Pratch defiler pathfinder it's pretty fucking insane for the budget itself we don't take any of the minion node in the passive tree um, because we are scaling the damage with the Dorianis prototype the pros itself it's a minion it's um, somehow um, somewhat um, auto bomber or uh, you know it's a minion and it's very tanky all right um, we have 90% max rest for all elemental hits yeah I, I I encourage you it's a hit not really 90% of max rest um, usually we have because we are using a Doranis prototype which um, gives us 185 minus lightning resistance in here I have only 89 um, fire and cold resistance but it will goes up to um, 90 into more level right because when we take this 10% um, increase plus effect we will get another 1% from our ruby flash all right so yeah here 90% all right chill the f out okay so 90% max rest and we also have um, some suppression we also have some block and we also pet finder which uh, we have massive life regen and for the budget build as well it's it's pretty fucking good you know um right now i'm using the min max version i'm using the trigger one and some like um some really good 12 minion node and some really really good what's this called elegant hubris um yeah this is somehow uh, min max version even when i'm still in the budget version it feels really good man yeah i'm not, not gonna lie it's very good but the damage it, the, the, the damage is already fine we are scaling not really that much the damage the dorianis give you all the damage you need and all you need to do is um, make your lightning resistance as low as it can be as close as as uh, minus 200 as you can um, I'm still um, trying to craft my ring with reflective miss um, I have some of the felt one I guess somewhere around here for example like this I'm trying to get positive uh, minion positive non-channeling cost um, minus mana positive life and all the rest of it is negative but I got a uh, negative life this is almost very very good almost very very good yeah but yeah it's brick I already spent like 20 divine um, buying the bone bone ring bases and the reflecting miss also is um, currently at yeah one divine around one divine holy f holy damn bro it's 200 c right now fuck 
Okay, so it's it, 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 it's it's expensive. So I'm settled with this trash, right? It will do at the moment. I will settle with this. Okay, so back to the build itself. You can play as a juggernaut or as a pet finder. So I honestly don't know um, which one of these two, Juggernaut or Pathfinder, is tankier. But I believe the Pathfinder version is tankier than Juggernaut because Pathfinder have the enduring life less. Um, it's scaling with flash very very well, and the Juggernaut is only like I don't know enduring enduring charge and armor. I don't know, man. I I I I I I I, I biased through uh, with the pathfinder version so <clears throat> here is some of the budget pathfinder using the dark seer dorianis prototype um the plus two socketed minion gem is it's it's really helpful because you need to get um your race specter level to level 25 um, for you to get another one maximum um race specter so you will get three from this and then you link the race specter with yeah with this um support gem and then you need red lord to get four more um, number of maximum specter because we are using dorian in spotter type we need to mitigate our lightning damage taken from heat into another elemental um such as fire and cold um i believe there is two way i don't know if there's more but i i i only know uh, there's two ways to mitigate lightning damage from hits um, number one is um, using eyes of the great walls with the um, double implicit lightning damage from hits taken as cold or lightning damage from hits taken as fire um, so um, my amulet here is taken as fire it doesn't really matter which one it is um, fire is fine taken as fire is fine taken as cold it's fine it's not really matter because we are scaling both of the fire and cold resistance to the moon <clears throat> which is 90 percent and the second way is um using the talisman um in talisman implicit lining them from hits taken as cold or taken as fire it's 50 percent at another 50 percent is from the watcher's eye um purity of ice or purity of fire um and then another from the test of hit um, which is lightning fire and lightning from hits taken as cold so we are mit mitigating some of the fire as well um, if we are using this method but to be honest though you can get like insanely good talisman a mirror talisman with minus lightning resistances like 200 life and I don't know like I don't know man plus one all spell yeah um, you can scale this infinitely okay so the next mandatory item is the zephalin um the zephalin is pretty insane um this chance to block is lucky so in my path of building um i have 88 chance to block and 89 chance to block spell it's insane man the zephalin is way too overpowered to be um to be not used i don't know man so that is the four mandatory item the rest of it you can min max it you can um, use mage blood whatnot uh, you can use the minion ring um or the mirror ring with negative lightning resistances as for um the as for the weapon the budget setup is using the dark seer because it uh, it gives you plus two um, to all level of skills and it all uh, it also gives you the maximum life and the malediction which uh, makes the enemy take 10% increased damage which is um, it's honestly it's huge though but if you prefer to like the trigger one like I'm using right now it's uh, it um, I bought this for like 20 divines I think I don't know I, I forgot yeah I think 20 divine as for the best in sword weapon i i will think this is the best one minions are aggressive fractured plus two minion increase damage minion um, increase attack speed cast speed and then a trigger one um, but uh, we need to get higher tier with the uh, minion deal increase damage as for the boots you need to get plus two of all race spectrogram this is the elevated 
um this is the um elevated elder and the plus three maximum fire resistant is elevated crusade so you um awaken both of those elevated mod from different boots and then you combine it um i recommend you you to use the two-tone boots i saw um, other people using runix boot for the ward but i think it's not really worth it because you can use what in your gauntlet which you can add implicit because um, it's not influence um, yeah something something like this is not really that good because you lose an another implicit mod right um you have plus two you have plus two level and plus three max rest and you don't have any implicit you lose value basically you lose value so i think the most effective setup is using the runic um the runic gloves and then the two-tone boots for the uh, so both of those um will have um an implicit um as for the flash you need the luxury flash right this is very very expensive bro I bought this for three defines. Define life flash with C1 um, recovery to minion because we are pet finder which have 16,000 life recovered for flash and we are um, we are healing our minion with this also. And Rumi of course you don't need um, good roll Rumi because we with this trash roomy i kind of max um with my block attack and um 62 for the block spell yeah it's max roll but yeah you don't need the you don't need perfect roll from the roomy okay so if you want to use the rare one i very very recommend you to get plus two aura from the cephalin um as for now which uh the perfect 15 block and plus aura is five divine so why we are using plus two aura because we need to put our purity of fire here we need to get our purity of fire to level 23 i believe it's 23 um so we can get a one additional maximum fire resistance if you are using the rare one because we are losing one um because the rare one only give plus one to all spell instead of plus two when we are using the um dark seer okay so you need to change your shield as well if you are upgrading the build into the um uh rare trigger one as for the jewel you need melding of course because we are uh, maximizing our maximum resistances and ending hunger for clearing speed light of meaning with the chaos resistance if you are um if you are struggling with the chaos rest and as also elegant hubris with the threat of hope combo so um um you 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 can min max this um you can you can put your uh elgin hubris to this slot um honestly or even to this slot you can you can really min max it but the optimal the efficient place the optimal phase for this is in the scion area um the best spot is you get the impossible escape with mage bane because you can get this three node for life and um, life recovery from past but the item is non-existent man the elegant the good elegant hybrid the good elegant hubris um which give this four node with minion is it's now non-existent i don't know I don't know if it's already exists in the market or no, but um, when I bought this, it's non-existent, man. So I uh, I set my <coughs> so I set my Elgin hubris into the what's this called solipism, um, so I can get um, minion deals damage, minion life, fire resistances, chaos resistances minion damage mana reservation skill sea of skill it's good man we have like 
um, three minion nodes, life damage damage, and mana resistance of skill, which is good. You can put another auras. Also fire resistance and chaos resistance because we are struggling with resistance. See, not really though, but yeah, you will struggle with resistance. Fuck me, dude. My specters die. Shit. And because we are using the Elgin Hubris, Caspiro, um, Supreme Oz Sensation, we are tattooing all of our um, attribute into cold resistances and fire resistances and life recovery from fast. Um, for the intelligent, I suggest you to use the um, chaos resistances or um, reduce, reduce crit taken whatever it's called so yeah the budget version is also very good i played the budget version for like almost um whole day and then i i feel like i'm comfortable i'm comfortable with the build and i want to min max it and i bought the expensive stuff and uh, for the cons it's 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 a minion minion can dice and will dice eventually you can you can use um some of the itemize um, corpses like perfect spirit of fortune which grants you wrath and lightning damage is lucky also you can use the perfect world for more um, defensive like vitality vitality is trash from the perfect world it's all it's only level one but the most important things is share endurance charge with but i believe the endurance charge um, from the minion it's not really that good um, it used to be good. It's double the effect of the endurance charge from the old days, but now it's it's not it's not give you it's not it's not giving you the um the effect of endurance charge as in the the new endurance charge the new new endurance charge you know the 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 elemental damage reduction it's it's only give you um elemental damage um elemental elemental resistances and physical uh, physical damage reduction i believe it gives it this i don't know if it's patch i i i i i honestly don't know man as for another con it's dorianis prototype build you will die from lightning damage over time so mana siphon and um cirrus burning ground i don't know and then it's it's lightning dot the lightning damage over time will kill you it will give you very very high damage you will die man it's it's instantly it's it's like one second and then you die from the um uh what's it called the the the, the, the lightning um damage over time and then um yeah i think th i think scaling is very limited it's not the the damage scaling is not like through the roof you can't really invest in this you can't really invest in that um it's it's kind of it's kind it's kind of limited man and then also there's no good runesmith the only runesmith we can use is minion deals damage it's trash man it's sad or i guess i hope you like this video please give us a thumbs up i will put my pob down in the link in the description below i hope you like this video please give us a thumbs up and show us some loves bye